What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys part four for my playthrough on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, I'm planning on defeating our first Titan for this playthrough and moving on and defeating the second gym. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. We got playthrough content, guides coming out for you guys, and we are so close to bringing you guys ranked battles. On my other game, I just defeated the game and I started team building my first ever VGC double team for this game. So hopefully I'll have a rental code and a video out for you guys soon on that. But with that out the way, let's get rolling here. Let's start heading towards our first Titan. We still only have one Pokemon. Pokemon, which is Cro Crocolor, but I'm hoping to get our second Pokemon, which is going to be, I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but it's coming soon, but this is the uh, destination that we want to go to. I'm going to mark it on the map, and we're going to get rolling, and we are going to get rolling here, but got to hop on my, oh, of course, Rotom phone's buzzing. Of course, once I hit the uh, plus button to hop on my Pokemon, I was ready, I was ready to hop on it, so once I hit the plus button, I was just like, why did my phone pop out, and I'm not riding on Crydon, but we got a little, I guess, like, cutscene, a little phone call from Arvin about the Stony Cove Titan, which is exactly where we were heading to, but I'm gonna just explore a little bit on the outside, defeat some trainers like this guy right here, and yo, there's my boy Spoink, yo, if you saw the last episode, we got some pictures with Spoink, because Spoink is just the absolute dog, he's the man, yo, I love Spoink, I absolutely love Spoink. But yeah, as you guys can see, there is a tower. It's behind this guy. You guys can't see. But we're heading to that tower, too, because you guys can get gimme ghouls at those towers. If you guys are looking to complete your Pokedex, make sure you guys defeat or capture every single gimme ghoul. Because they give you the gimme ghoul coins, and the only way to evolve gimme ghouls is to get the coins. Get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I just said gimme ghoul like 600 times. But yo, this thing's level 17? Oh, we got some high-level Jigglypuffs out here. High-level Jigglypuffs out here. I thought I was a decent level, which I am. I mean, I'm level 19. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. But yeah, if we uh, complete the two things that I want to complete, the, the Titan and the Gym, quick enough, if we have time... Oh, I really didn't kill that Jigglypuff there. And I got cute charmed Yo, out my face with that. Out my face with that. But, uh... I was just going to get some HP back. You got to be kidding me. Alright, it's not too much. His defense is going to drop. But if I can defeat those two tasks that I want to do, we might head over and capture our... Uh, our second Pokemon for the team. If not, that is first thing we're doing in the next episode. That'll be first thing we would do. And I'm in. I'm in. Bro. I can't. Can I hit him? I'm in love with this Jigglypuff. I have too much love for this puff. Just kill it. Kill your loved one. Kill it. Kill it, Crocolor. Crocolor. Yo, what are the odds with the, with the love? Like, I think I never hit when I have it. But whenever I, I'm in love with uh, Pokemon. I never, I'm never able to hit him. There has to be like a, a low odd chance of hitting this Pokemon. Oh, hit this Pokemon. Hit this Pokemon. I, but yo, if we die to this, I'm going to be very upset. Still, come on. This Jigglypuff ain't good for you. You got you to gotta let her go. What is going on? <laughs> no. Bro, kill it. Just kill it. We're going for it. I'm on now. What a way to start off today's video. Hit it, Crocolore. How? I don't. I don't get how how you, how you get out of this. I guess I'll heal up my Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to heal him up. All right, let's get it, Crocolore. What is going on? We just missed like five turns <laughs> because we're in love with this Jigglypuff. <laughs> Should have killed it when we had the chance instead of going for the bite. Now it's stockpiling. Like, what are the odds with the love thing? How do I hit out of this thing? Go for it again. Kill it. Just kill it. Take it out. Come on, Crocolore. Need you here, buddy. Bro! I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. Kill it. Just kill it. Please. Thank you. Please. I really don't know what to do, guys. Do it. Should I terrasse? Maybe that can help it. Thank you. Thank you, Crocolore. Thank you. I didn't realize you could zoom in on the Pokemon like that. You hit the uh, left stick, or not the left stick, the left trigger. It kind of zooms in on the Pokemon. We're just gonna send out Skiddo here. And I'm like zoomed in, yeah, you can go here and here if you hold down, it's pretty cool. But yeah, that was, what, what was that? What just happened? I'm like, I don't know like the odds of hitting a Pokemon there, but it has to be low. It cannot be like 50-50, because we, we missed too many shots there. 
Ah, oh, but thank God that battle's over. See you later, officer, worker guy. Pay me extra money for that win. How much money you give me? All right, that's a good chunk. Thank you. $2,720. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. But we should be heading this way towards that little tower. And we're going to make our way this way. And, yo, there's a little cloth action. Let me take you out, cloth. Okay, never mind. I'll take you out another time. But today we're going to see, uh, we're going to see cloth because he is the, uh, titan. We're going to go for take out. And there is a hasty mint right there. And I should give it to my, uh, crocodile right now. Even though it's not the best mint for him and best nature, we have a minus special attack nature on him. And this Pokemon is a special attacker. So I definitely want to give him that mint. No matter what it is. Unless it lowers special attack him. But I don't think hasty does that. I do not think hasty does that. But yeah, we're gonna take that out. And there's a Maguhita. And this in this exact moment right here, this is where I found my first shiny in my other playthrough. I found a shiny Skiddo. I was actually battling this opponent. And I saw a, like a white Skiddo running around in the background. I was just like, wait a minute, is that shiny? Went up to it, like obviously I gotta check. And I hit it up and it was a shiny. It was a shiny Skiddo. And I just evolved into Go-Go for my uh for my uh, Pokedex, and it just looks amazing. And I also found a shiny Magukita in that game. All full odds, too. I wasn't even shiny hunting. I was just playing the game, hanging around, doing my thing. And, yeah. Shinies just pop out. But I feel like you just get such a broad, like, spawnage of Pokemon. Like, there's so many Pokemon that spawn. That, like, like you're bound to find at least one or two shiny throughout your playthrough, right? I feel like at, le at least that's how, how I'm thinking. So, if you guys found a shiny, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely let me know. We're going to go this way. Hi, Magohito. Actually, I want to fight you. I would love to fight you. And I love how uh, Crocolore evolved into a uh, a ghost type, too. I just think it's so good. Can't be affected by fighting moves, normal moves. It just works so well. I hear a Gimme Ghoul. Where's this Gimme Ghoul at? I hear it. I think he's in between that rock. I think he's in that rock. Yeah, there he is. See him between the trees ahead of the rock. He's just chilling there. I'll grab him up real quick. I'll grab up on that Gimme Ghoul. Come here, Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, see, he was just chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll take that gimme goal. We got Splinks, we got Rookity, we got this Rock Pokemon, and there's a Skiddo. Hi, Skiddo. Hello, Skiddo. How you doing? Hop up here, and what is that? Is that a, a Yongoose? I'm gonna hop over. I really don't feel like fighting that thing right now. We got a rare candy, and actually, there's an item down here. I just love that about, uh... Oh, there's a Rookity here, too. Have I faced a Rookity yet? I feel like I had to have. Right? You can't eat berries with this thing hanging out. I don't know if I faced a Rookity yet. I might as well kill it. I might as well just incinerate it, right? That sounds deadly, though. <laughs> that sounds like overkill to Rookity. I might as well just incinerate it. <laughs> well, there we go. Take out Rookity. We got Skittos here. And we're gonna get moving here. I hate how I have, like, no abilities for this, uh, Karidon. Because in my other game, I'm flying around, running around, jumping as high as I possibly can. <laughs> like, I'm just doing everything with it, which I love. And I'm gonna go here, grab this Awakening. There is a trainer here. And yeah, I'm gonna take you on, trainer. What's goody? What's goody? But when we defeat the uh, Stony Cliff Titan, we will get our first, uh, I guess, enhancement to Crydon slash Maridon, whichever game you're playing. But I think your guys' Titans are a bit different than mine. I think they are. Is this, I'm playing on Scarlet. I believe whoever has Violet plays uh, versus a few different Titans. But yeah, you start getting enhancements and you start being able to run around the open world a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently, which is awesome. But there we go. Take out Vivlion. Get almost 300 XP. And then we get moving to this tower. Like I said, we always got to hit up the towers. Plus, I don't think I faced the Gimme Ghoul yet. I believe I didn't. There's the first town or the town that we're trying to go to. There's a little raid then, which I want to go collect the, what is it, VP from it? Definitely got to collect that. I'm going to climb this tower. We actually might have got a Gimme Ghoul. I think I might have got a Gimme Ghoul in the uh, other region. Now that I think about it. Can't remember, but still. I'm going to go up here, defeat it anyway. Get the XP, get the Gimme Ghoul coins. All that good stuff. And then keep moving along here. We got here. Gimme go. There's Gimme go. Oh, and there's a TM up here. How you doing? Matching up. Fun move to use. Honestly, I have a blast using it all the time. Cause it's just like, yo, what move am I gonna get? And you get some really cool moves. Like I remember as a kid, I got a uh, Sacred Fire, and I was I was losing it because I thought like Ho Oh was like the only Pokemon to ever learn Sacred Fire. But there's a few Pokemon. It is like a rarer move. Like I feel like only Legendaries or a lot of Legendaries learn it. But yeah, I was, I was losing it. I had a... Was it a Jigglypuff? It might have been a Jigglypuff. I was just using a Metronome on it. Like, just to, like, pass time. <laughs> and see what moves I can get. And that's one of them I get. 
We get that. I can now jump off this cliff with my karate on. He's just flies through the air, which I love. And something I can actually do is get some more extra XP. Just by sending uh, my crocodile over to the skittos because I know he'll have no. No, come on now. Super rude. I hate the small Pokemon. I run into him way too often. I run into him way too often. But yeah, something I, you can actually do if you have a fire type Pokemon is just find skittos and just, just send your crocodile for Coco. Action at him. I know, just take him out. Get some extra XP. While you run around and stuff. It's just really good. Hello, Cloth. Here's another Skittle. Let me get him out of here. Okay, you missed him. That's fine. And look at this. This is the Stony Titan. I actually wanted to feed a Cloth before we actually headed in there. Oh, actually, I guess I'm uh, doing an attack like this. Alright, Cockroach cannot take on those guys. <laughs> Even though we're versus the Yo, he's coming after me. You see this dude? Look at him. He's coming after me. We gotta heal up before we actually roll out to this Titan. Let's do it. But yeah, Colossal are rock type and they kinda they kinda get they kinda get after my Crocolore. But I defeated the Stony Titan with just my uh Crocolore in my previous playthrough. So I think we should be fine with this one. I think we should, but this is the big Stony Titan, is this Coloth right here. And as you guys can see, he's gonna get moving once you kinda look at him, and he's gonna go up to a different position. So I'm just gonna meet him at the position he's going to. How about that? How about that? So if you run around this mountain, you can get up here. Cloth should you just be chilling. There he is. <laughs> right back in a new position. And now you actually get to fight him, which is pretty cool. I kind of I kind of feel like the stone or the, the Titan fights are pretty cool. But I really like that the idea of the three main storylines. I really do like it. When he hops off, he just says, Glaw. Such so a cool Pokemon. I do like his ability, too. And I'm just going to leer it up. I think like leer is going to be your best bet. Because if I can drop this thing's defense... Maybe like one or two stages, I could do a lot more damage than I normally do. And he's just gonna vice grip me, which I eat pretty well. And I feel like that's like one of the only moves he uses. Wait, why am I leering? I am leering it, but I am special attacking. Kinda hurts soul. I mean, bite isn't though, and I can use bite onto it. It's pretty good. I can do that, right? Bite is not special attacking. Bite's physical. Awesome. I'm just gonna go for a bite while we have this thing minus two, and chunk up some nice damage. See, that's a good chunk of damage, which I really like. He's gonna vice grip me up, and I think he only really uses vice grip. Hopefully, he just doesn't drop a rock on me and I die. But two more bites will actually take him out, and he has anger shell. Actually, one more should because I believe he drops defense stage here. Because his attack's gonna boost, his special attack's gonna boost, his speed's gonna boost, and then his defense drops. So I think one more bite can actually finish off this Pokemon, which could be really good for us. And he flinches. That's even better. That's even better. So another bite comes in here. He's gonna vice grip out to speed us now, which kind of hurts. That did some mean damage. My bite here should KO, right? Correct? It does. It puts him low enough for him to actually dip out of here. He says, see you later. And then we just have to follow him after we heal out to fight him again. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go to our bag. Drop a nice little potion again. And you get so many potions from just po running around the world and like hitting the little uh, shiny things on the ground, the little sparkles on the ground. You just get so many potions. An, an immense amount of potions. Here's my boy right here. Oh, I hit the map instead of hit the jump button. We're going to fall down here. And we're going to face off with this guy for his final time. So once we beat him this time, we'll, we will be done this little challenge here. But more importantly, we got our buddy Arvin. Arvin shows up for every single uh, Titan fight. And he helps you out. So it's basically like a double battle. But all these Titans always eat these herbs. And I haven't gotten far enough in my game to know like what these herbs are about. I have not visited the crater of Paldea yet. That is something I'm going to do today. After I record. I'm a team build and I'm a... And I'm going to get after it that way. Because there are some cool Pokemon that are in there. You get all these your future and ancient forms down there. I just think it's dope while they're around. But Cloth is here. He ate his little herb and now he is even stronger. And what Pokemon do you have? You have Shelter. Okay, I can get down with some Shelter action. I can get down with some Shelter action. So I'm going to leer him again. Drop his defense and get going from there. Same thing. Same thing. Hopefully the Shelter is just ripping with ice. Or, oh, he's gonna rock smash shelter. That's a fighting move. I always, like, you would always think it's a rock move. You would always think it's a rock move. I'm gonna leer it twice. While wow, the shelter actually just rips into him with uh, special attacking moves. And we're just gonna go from there. He's gonna block. I don't mind that. So now shelter can't swap out. You're a weak Titan, Claw. You're a cool looking Titan. I I'll give you that. I really do like this Pokemon's design, but he's a weak Titan. He's a weak Titan. We'll start, dro we'll start dropping bites. Bink, doing some mean damage. We got a crit there, too. Like that damage. Rock smash coming through. That's a fighting move. If it was a rock move, we would have taken some mean damage. But no, I don't know why rock smashes is that way. 
but he's gonna anger shell here i think anger shell happens after the halfway point gonna boost his speed and both attacks but lowers defenses so it's basically like a shell smash in an ability but since his defense is our job i feel like we, if we just get one more turn we go bite and he goes uh and he goes water gun it's pretty much ggs right get it on out here a little bit of bite action and come on water gun for the ko for the ko let's go there it is there it is the titan is gone get it on out of here and we're gonna get an enhancement to our karate on which is lovely and i feel like we can just run straight to the gym go to the gym because like i said i want to defeat this i want to definitely defeat the gym and then if we have time i can go over to a new area and get a new pokemon for the team which i would love to get a new pokemon for the team i'm tired of just using crocodile <laughs> but i feel like after this episode we're gonna start stockpiling our team for the most part, because we're going to start heading to an area where I can get another Pokemon. And then it kind of just leads to a Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. And we should be able to get five of them before late game. The last Pokemon's going to be late game. Well, I wouldn't say late game, but it's like mid game. It's like it's like high. I should say higher. Higher mid game. It's not late late game. Or like post game or anything. But I feel like we're going to get it like around the six badge. But every time you defeat Titan, you head inside the cave. And whatever they were eating, you get after it. You go check it out. You do all that stuff. And then uh, you hang out with your boy Arvin over here for a little bit. But I feel like these cutscenes are they're pretty cool. I really do like I do really like the uh, story with this game. I don't think it's too bad. I didn't really like Sword and Shield story. I, I thought it was alright. But this one this one's not too bad. This one is not too bad. But where the cutscenes get very annoying is with the uh, Team Star stuff. I feel like they're so obnoxiously long for no reason. Like, let me play the game. If I want to see the cutscene, I would uh, I would do it. But there should be like a, a way to skip the cutscenes. I feel like make life easier. But Arvin's here. Every time you defeat a Titan, we whip up a nice Sammy. We get a nice sandwich going. And sandwiches are big in this game. Like they are actually really cool. They can boost shiny chances, encounter rates, uh, make you do or make you get more XP. I just think sandwiches are a great addition to the, to the Pokemon series. This is really cool. It doesn't take too long to even make. You kind of just hop onto a picnic table. You make your sandwich real quick. Probably takes like a minute or two. And then you get a bunch of boosts for like a half an hour. Which is absolutely amazing. It is really good. For like example, we in my uh, first guide I put out for this game on the fastest way to level of Pokemon. We, we farm Chanseys. And I put on the encounter rate for normal Pokemon. And Chanseys just spawn it, start spawning like crazy. So like they work really, really well. And I'm a big fan of sandwiches. But we give our sandwich to Karadon over here because he said he was hungry. And the best part about this is every time you give him the sandwich, he gets that new ability. So sandwiches make him stronger, as you guys could tell in like the beginning cutscene. And look at him. He gets a little little change here. He just, he just gets a little glow. And now he is able to dash now. So our Karadon can move even faster. So he was moving decently fast, but dude, I'm telling you, he can move when you're dashing with him. And the dash is unlimited. You can legit dash across the whole day in region and he won't get tired because he's the man he's the man i do i love this pokemon so much i just think he looks so sick he's just so dope and the dash really the dash is a really good uh first uh ability to give him considering it just it just i don't know it just makes life easier <laughs> you get the dash i think it i don't know if it depends on what titan you beat because i feel like it, it depends on what number of titans you've beaten to get your abilities because you get dash and then what's the next one it's dash and then jump higher no it's dash and swim then jump higher then glide then climb which i have all of them and when you get all of them you're just doing whatever you want in the paladay region climbing up walls hopping off and gliding to ancient distances like <laughs> he's just gone after that <laughs> professor Sada's gonna call she's gonna be like hey yo your Karadon can now dash all that, blah, blah, blah. She's going to teach you how to do it. It's pretty simple. You just press down the, the left stick. Basically, run in any shooter game, you know, or any other game. How you run is how you uh, dash in this game. It's pretty simple. So, we can hop on a Karadon now, and we can get cooking. Like, look at this speed we got. We got some mean speed cooking now. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Sometimes I like to slow it down just go back to normal speed. But the dash is just very good at uh, traversing through the lands. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to hop over here. And I just want the, uh, I want the VP on that thing right there. Oh, I don't have my higher jump. I can't get up there. That's whack. I wanted that Pokeball. <laughs> I'm so used to getting a higher jump. But yo, ooh, that's getting bad. A little Tinka Tinka action. 
I do like Tinker Tank. Really good Pokemon. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this. There's a Skitter there. I'm gonna skip that train and I'm gonna move on this way. I wanna start making my way towards the town. The town is actually right up here. Got Pokeball here. I see one in the bushes. We get a Great Ball. We get a Burn Heal, which I will never ever use. And we get another Pokeball. And then we get TM over here. What do we got? You see one. That's a solid, solid doubles TM. Solid doubles TM. Love how you went. Grant some nice speed control. You kind of roll off from there. And we make our way to the town right here. I'm going to make our way to the town. Oh, what are those? Oh, that's the little bird. The squawk. The squawk a bee. Squawk a bee? Squawk ability? How do you pronounce this Pokemon? Squawk a -billies. That's what it is. Squawk a <laughs> They're so sick. I like them. I'm a big fan of the squawk a -billies. I wish they evolved, though. I'm going to KO it just to add it to my deck. And if there is a trainer behind us, I see. Maybe go battle him. I would like to get a little bit more XP before we head into the grass gym. Even though it is a grass gym, we should be able to rip it up. We should be able to just get after the grass gym. There we go. Take out Squawk ability. And then, uh, it should be, I'm thinking a trainer right over here. What is that thing? Oh, it's an Oricorio. I like these guys. I think these Pokemon are cool. Oh, Oricorio. Yeah. I might have fought one already. I might have fought one over already. I'm not too sure. Drop a little bite. Oh, and let me put on that mint after this. Let me use that hasty mint onto this Pokemon. Because again, it's it's uh nature's god awful. It just makes this Pokemon ten times worse. It really does. He's gonna air cutter me. That's fine. I'm just gonna round it up again. Send it. Later, Oricorio. Take it out, no problem. Take it out, no problem. And we get level 22. Loving it. Let me just make sure this thing's ability is awful before I even do it. Yeah, special attack down. I like the speed boost, but this thing's a special attacker. We need to change it. Let's go to our boxes. Yo, that growl is coming after me. Not boxes. We got to go to our bag. Go to our bag, and then our mint should be, like, over here. Yeah, we got Adam. Ooh, where did we get adamant from? That's a good for a physical attacker. Hasty mint. It makes his speed stat, but lowers its defense. I'm all about it. I'm using this item on him. Yes, I know it might affect his stats. Change the stats to the hasty mint, and I'm really curious to see if uh if it shows its uh nature change in the uh, summary now in the newer games. Let's see, or does it still say the other one? So it has it there. What's its ability? It still says Jolly. That's so dumb. It, I mean, the stats change as you guys can see. My special attack goes way higher, but it does not say on the on the nature anymore, which I think it's dumb. I do think it's very very dumb. I thought they would change it in a new game. I really would. Because I, I feel like that always bothered me. Because it says it's a jolly nature, but it's not a jolly nature anymore. Because we change it. It's a hasty nature. So now we have a speed boost, but our defense is down. I'd rather have our defense down than our, uh, than our, what's it called? Than our special attack. But that adamant mint, adamant is a very, very good nature. Very good nature, especially for physical attackers that you want to hit hard. Because you can drop its special attack stat that you are never going to use. And get a boost on that, uh, attack stat. So I really do like that. But before we head to that gym, or to that town versus the first gym, I just want to defeat this trainer, get a little bit more XP, so we can steam roll our gym leader. Let's get it. I hear another chemical. They're always on these sides. The chemicals, man. I think chemicals are cool. We got happening over here. What's happening? Happening? What's happening, girl? Oh, where's that chemical? I want to see him. See, he's just chilling. He's just chilling on that post. He's just chilling there. He's just being a dog. He's just being a cool cat. We're gonna incinerate and we take out the happening, no problem. And I believe happenings give out a nice chunk of XP, right? Just like Chanseys and Blissies. Ah, eh, that ain't too bad. Blissies give out a ridiculous amount of XP. An absurd amount, I should say. I versed one with a lucky egg, I got like 8,000. I was like, oh my lord. I was like, give it all to me. That's all I want. That's all I want. We go here, grab these Pokeballs, we get a Poke Doll. And oh, can I get up here? Or do I, I need big jump to get up there? Or can I like hop up on here? Do a little bit of parkour hardcore. I mean, unless I go around. Can I get up on this thing? we go here. Get up there. Can this thing even stand up there? No, it cannot. I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. Actually, do I even need to heal up my Pokemon? Which one? I wanna see if I can get up here though. Ooh. Get up there. Get up there! Oh, come on now. I got like a running start. No, oh, we need a higher jump to get up there. All right. Or I can maybe just like get up from the side here. Come on, come on, come on. 
Get up there. Maybe if I get up here. Let's go this way. Come on. Come on, Karadon. Nah, I think we need higher jump to get up there and get that Pokeball. <laughs> we need it. But where is this gym at? There it is. I had the second gym. We're going to go defeat it. Actually, wait a minute. Let's see if we can get our Pokemon first. Just so we can get levels for that Pokemon. Because I'll show you guys. This area over here is a bit stronger than uh, normal. But, but... I can show you guys something really cool. Do we have Pokeballs? I think we should have a few Pokeballs to catch this Pokemon. Yeah, 43. Plenty. Plenty. So, the Pokemon that we want is actually... Is it down this path a little bit? Yes, it's going to be down this path right here. And it should be another Poke Center. Once we pass that, we do not want to fight any of these Pokemon or these trainers because they are a little bit stronger than us at the moment. But we can actually get our Pokemon by doing a... Kind of like a skip jump. It's actually really cool. You guys will see in a second. It's not really like a skip jump. I, I figured this one out myself. So you're technically not allowed really in this area until you beat Team Star. But as you guys can see, there is going to be a river over here. And your boy had the genius idea of, yo, Karidon can, seems like he can hop that area with the dash. So what I did was I did this and hopefully we can actually do this over here. Oh, come on, yo. I was about to jump. <laughs> and uh, you can jump over the river. But that's what we're going to do. Hopefully I can make it first try. I can't get away. I'm going to have to kill this thing. He's going to leech seed me. Uh, you're dead. I'm sorry, dearly. See, these things are level 19. I really don't feel like messing with a lot of them. They're high level uh, Pokemon here. But yeah, I want to catch the second Pokemon before we do the gym. And the reason I say that is because I want to get that XP for that Pokemon while we defeat the gym trainers. But I'm going to go here. And I'm going to jump. Can we make that? Oh, no problem. No problem. We jump over there and my boys should be spawning around right here. Where are my boys at? There's a Growlithe. Where are my boys? Where's the second Pokemon for the team? Where's he at? They're usually all around here. Is that one? No, that's a Corviknight and Rookie D. Alright, looks like we're going to have to search a little bit more. But I know they spawn in this area. I know they spawn in this area. Are they over here? Are they hanging out over here? Where are my boys at? Where are they at? Don't tell me I went all this way for nothing. They over here? Oh, here's one. There it is, man. My boy Watchroll right here. It is a new regional bird. And it's flying in electric. And I'm going to catch this one. Hopefully it has good nature and a good ability. Let me bite up on it. Let me bite up on this thing. Not bad. I'm going to bite it again. Get its XP lower. Well, not XP. It's HP lower. And yeah, this Pokemon is really good. It is a great special attacker. And it is very fast at the same time. Electric and flying. You can get Volt Absorb on it. It is such good ability for it. So hopefully we get Volt Absorb like first try. I would love to get Volt Absorb. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, special attacker. I will catch multiple of them if I have to. If I get a bad nature and all that stuff. Just to get a better Pokemon overall. But yeah, they all fly around here. Sometimes they fly in packs. All that good stuff. But maybe we can have some first try luck here. I would not like to give Watch all nickname. I'd like to see its summary, please. But yeah, this Pokemon is really cool. It, it evolves into like a big buff seagull. Why can't I see its summary there? What's, what's going on here? Did I, did I hit A too fast? Wind power with... That ability kind of stinks. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. We're going to catch another one. Look at them. They're all hanging out here. What's up, Watch Rolls? Mwah. Come here. Come here, Watch Roll. I think Incinerate will kill it, so I'm going to start rounding it. One's level 21. Actually, I don't think Incinerate will kill this one. Now pluck me. How dare you pluck me? Don't kill it. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect HP right there. Bring it right down to the red. Right off the rip. And we're going to catch this guy. A little crit catch action? A little crit catch? Can't go wrong with a crit catch. Cannot go wrong. I always love getting those. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. But it already starts at a decent level. It's a Storm Patrol Pokemon. Do not want to give it a nickname. It's been added. They just added to the party now. Stupid. Let's see this one. Speed up attack down. I really like that. With wind power. I would rather have Volt Absorb though. Not going to lie. I would rather have Volt Absorb. Do I catch another one while I'm here? That's a really good ability. That's a really good, what is that, timid ability? That's a really good ability for a special attacker. Or not ability, really good nature. Really good nature. I don't I don't think Incinerate will kill this. We'll see. Yeah, cool. So we're keeping him in the red here. He's going to spark me up. How dare you? And I'm going to catch another one here. So we're going to get a bunch of watch rolls, throw them in our box after this. Give me Crit Catch. Woo! Back to back, critics? Back to back. Loving it. A little back to back action. Show me this is like... The dog. Give me 
amazing. I would rather have the ability. I would rather have the ability more so than the nature. I would take a worse nature for a better ability. Let's see. This one's wind power. Oh, this is a decent ability, but I like my other ability better. Any more watch rolls we can catch before we go out here? If not, we're just going to use the wind power one for this playthrough. And a watch roll up there? Yeah, it is. Come here. Come here, watch roll. There you go. Hug like a pokeball up there. We battle in it. Hit it with another incinerate and then go on from there. This will be our last watch roll we catch. I have a I have a Volt Absorb one on my other game, but it's really like Volt Absorbs. Oh no, we killed it. We level up or something? We might have leveled up now. Killed that? I was doing good with the incinerates. Any more watch rolls? Last chance, watch rolls. Last chance, little buddies. I'll give them one last chance. If not, we're rolling with wind power. It took me a little bit to get the uh, Volt Absorb one on my other game. It's like it's rare ability. See, watch rolls last chance, dude. I'll run over here because they like to hide under trees and stuff. I think that's it. I think we're going to be keeping the one and only watch roll. Got dealings, all that. Check down here real quick. Hit this rock and then we're flying out of here. Switching them up on our boxes. All right, cool. We're going to switch up on our boxes and that is the new Pokemon. Is it this one? I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one has a great, great nature. Speed up. That's wind power. Wind power is not bad. The Pokemon becomes charged when it's hit by a wind move, boosting the power of the next electric type attack. I like that. I'm a big fan of that, so I'm going to change this position. And it's already level 21. Already level 21, which is solid for us. I'm going to move him. And I'm going to move him out of here. So, there it is, guys. Our second Pokemon for this team. Awesome. I love this Pokemon so much. But let's get out of here. Let's go back to the town. Let's go defeat our second gym. Go defeat our second gym. Should be right here. The Artisan. The Artisan Gym, which is grass. So, I have a flying Pokemon. I have a fire Pokemon. No problem. This is going to be no problem for us. We're just going to steamroll this. We're just going to steamroll it. And I kind of like the gym test, too. The gym test is pretty cool. The heal up a Pokemon. Our bird looks like a dum-dum right now. <laughs> but when it evolves, I like it. I like when he evolves. He gets big and massive. Really dope Pokemon. All right, so with that out the way, let's hop back on our uh, Karidon, hit the speed boost, and head over to that gym and finish off that gym to end off today's video, which is perfect. This is exactly what I want to get done in today's video. If everything works out perfectly, we can do, uh, what can we do in the next one? I think we start heading to a new area, maybe do another Titan or another gym. Because there's a team star right here, but I do not want to do that one yet because that one is actually rather harder at this level. And of course, it cutscene me and just left me there. Like, why do you got a cutscene me to show me the, what the gym looks like? I already know what the gym looks like. Why do you think I showed up here? <laughs> Maybe if it was the first gym, I understand. The second gym? Come on now. Come on now. And there's my girl, Namona. What up, girly? Faya jeans. What's Faya? What heck does that mean? We might verse her. Can we verse her here? I'm not too sure. Did we first her here? No, she gives us three others, and then I think she's on her way. Yep. She's on her way. So let's talk to the little register lady over here. Welcome to the gym. How you doing? Let me register you as a challenger. Your name's Jeans. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's my name. So go outside. Go do the gym test. And again, I kind of like this gym test. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like hide and seek with some floors. <laughs> I feel like some floors don't get a lot of love because they're not that like strong, but I think they're a cool Pokemon. Nice little Sunflower. But if they get a third stage, I feel like that would be awesome. Like you have Sun Kern and Sun Flora, and then make it like a massive Sunflower. Like one with like muscles and everything that will just beat up on you. Which that Pokemon could be Fire and Grass. Kind of just like the new Skull Villain Pokemon. Because that the Skull Villain Pokemon is the first ever Grass and Fire Pokemon. Maybe make a third evolution of Sun Flora, a buff Sunflower. Like sun for fire, and it's grass because it's a plant. Because it's a flower. I think that'd be cool. I really do. Laura. Okay, so the gym test is you have to find 10 sun floors, and they're all located around the map. And they're not just like, they're not just these sun floors, these little statues of sun floors. These big ones right here, they're not it. Are they the smaller ones? I think they actually are sun floors. Like, I don't think this, is, this counts as one, right? No, it's not. That one does not count. You guys will see what I'm talking about. These ones count. Actually, is it this one? 
I don't know if this one counts. No, that one does not count. They're actually they're these ones. They're right here. Okay, I'm good. I, I, I'm like looking into the thing. Yeah, they look like actual sunflowers. They're just running around. And then they follow you afterwards, which I think is kind of funny. There's one right here. How you doing? And there's more than 10 on the map, but you just have to find them. Oh, there's three over here. What is going on? <laughs> How'd I miss these? These ones are just hanging out. There we go. A little bit of five action. We got five of them. I see one right over here. He's just hiding right here. <laughs> and then there's one right here. And then I'm pretty sure there's a few in the maze area. Oh, there's one up on the bridge too. So there's seven. I think I can make this jump. I can indeed. We'll grab you. And we just need two more of the boys. That's a fake one. Is there any of them hanging around here? Oh, there's one right there. I was about to jump. How you doing, dog? Where'd he go? Oh, no. He's right here. So we'll get him. I'm going to hop up here and make life easier for me. Can I not hop up here? Again. And here's the last one. So that we found 10 rather quickly considering i already knew where a lot of them were again i did this before and now that we got 10 we just have to run back <laughs> look at them running with me come on boys yeah <laughs> look yeah we got an army of them like yeah let's go <laughs> they look like they're about to raid a village attack <laughs> good old sunflower army wish they could follow me around all game long Look at them all. They're just chilling with me. Look at them. <laughs> That's so funny. I love those little dudes. Little sunflowers. That's great. That's great. Well, there we go. Send it back to their, their little pen right here. And we pass the test. Now we pass the test, we can head right into the gym and defeat our second gym leader. Which, again, it's grass. We're going to dominate it. We got a fire and we have a flying type. We're going to dominate it. My friends uh, who picked uh, like Quaxley, they were saying this gym actually gave them a lot of trouble. They said uh, the final Pokemon, the ace Pokemon at the gym, was actually just ripping into them. Really, really, really good. I think they lost a couple times. I was just like, that's why you guys are not the very best like no one ever was. Talk to the registration lady after you're done. She's like, Ayo, hey, you ready for the gym? I'm like, let's get it. Do I have my Pokemon healed? I don't think it matters. Again, we're just going to steamroll it. I had no problem when I defeated this uh, in my main game, and I only had a Crocodile. And it might have been lower level than this, but now I have two Pokemon over to level 20 that are both super effective up against all their Pokemon. Going to be light work. Going to be the lightest of works. Another thing I forgot to mention in today's video... I mentioned it in most of my videos. If you guys haven't followed my Twitter yet or my Twitch page, make sure you guys go follow me over there. I'm looking for rental codes over on my Twitter for this game. So if you guys built a team or anything, make sure you guys DM me or tweet at me over on that Twitter page. Again, link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Again, if you guys have rental codes, I would love to get my hands on them and use them for a YouTube video. But here's this gym leader, Brassius, right here. What's well, good, man? And I believe he sends out like a sun current or something stupid right off the rip. Some, something lame that we're just gonna incinerate. <laughs> I feel like we can just incinerate them all. I'm actually glad we caught that watch roll on like the same level as my Crocodile, so I don't have to do some like outside training. He sends out a nice little Patil. Hi, Patil, how you doing? How you doing, Patil? And yeah, I don't know what level. I don't think they're that high of level. 16? Yeah, 16. 16 ain't bad. 16 is about that level where we can one shot these guys. Yeah. See you later, Patil. Get it on. Especially being like a first evolution Pokemon. It just makes it easier. Let's send out small of oh, that's just this is just too easy. Way too easy. We're just having too too much of a good time here. Incinerate gonna pop. Later, Smolov. Get it all out my face. So we dropped Smolov. And we're gonna get some XP and the pseudo is gonna come out here. I don't mind. This is a Pokemon that all my friends who picked Quaxley trouble with a little bit of pseudo wudo action i think pseudo wudo is sick man and i'm just gonna terrestrialize and kind of get after him terrestrialize drop a nice level incinerate double the damage for that incinerate and yeah i think we can take this thing out in one shot maybe maybe not we'll see but we're gonna put the big old sh chandelier of candles on her head look at that look at them candles I think uh, terrestrializing make Pokemon look so cool. Like that glass diamond looking crystallizing feature. It just looks so dope. It really does. 
Let's see, he's gonna terrasalize too, and I believe he terrasalizes into a grass type, right? And grass types look pretty cool with the terrasalization. You get like a bunch of flowers on their head. Yeah, it's like a whole garden. Whole garden, all different flowers. We outspeed, we do outspeed. We're gonna say bye bye to him, right? See you later. You gone. You, oh no, is this like sashed? Oh, it's sturdy. Sturdy pseudo widow. Alright, you're scaring me, pseudo widow. You're scaring me. He's gonna trailblaze. Psh. Late work again. Late work, Jim. He's gonna get a speed boost, I believe. So he's gonna be able to outspeed me again. So yeah, we outspent him last turn. He has a speed boost. He's gonna be able to outspeed us now. Oh no, no, he's not. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Even with plus one, this pseudo widow is not outspeeding my slow croc lore. And there it is. Take out the second gym. Solid episode for today's video. Got a new Pokemon. Defeated our first Titan. Defeated our second gym. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's an XP. And I believe our, wa our watch roll is kind of close to evolving. I think it evolves like low 20s or like mid 20s. Which is awesome. Because once he evolves, he's just an absolute beast. He's just quick. He hits like a truck. He learns great moves because he's flying and electric. He's just all around really good. But the reason I really wanted... uh. What is that? Bolt absorb on him is because so he can't get hit by electric moves. And a flying and electric type that can't get hit by ground moves because flying and electric type because of its uh ability. That's just unreal. I just think it's very, very strong. There we go. Arison Jim defeated. I like these little pictures. Little picky picks. And now we catch a Pokemon up to level 30, even though we're not gonna be doing that. That's just nice. And we get Trailblaze, which is a solid grass move. If you guys have a grass Pokemon, I don't think it's too bad to actually make it learn this move. Especially for a competitive, you hit the Pokemon and then you get a speed boost. And I don't think the power is too low on that. I think it's definitely above 50. I'm not 100% sure. Don't don't quote me on that, but I think it is above 50, which is pretty solid. It's definitely solid. For, for a speed boost move. We got this guy talking. I believe... Oh, I know exactly who this guy is. I'm not even going to say. Actually, he, he says he's one of the Elite Four members. Hassle over here. One of the Elite Four members. I just defeated the Elite Four last night, and I saw him, and he has a really cool team. I think the Elite Four teams are really dope. The champion's pretty cool, too. But I feel like it wasn't too hard to actually uh, defeat the Elite Four. I did a first try. kind of just steamrolled. I wouldn't say steamrolled through it. I feel like they had a few Pokemon that kind of uh, did me dirty, that uh, killed some of my Pokemon. But overall, I kind of just whooped up on uh, everything. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be heading back to the other side of Paldea near the first gym and starting to explore areas over there. And hopefully defeating another Titan or another start Team Starfall or even another gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.